from above, there is a sense of scale for what's happened to the port city of Mariupol. Smoke is everywhere. A relentless bombardment, day after day, for eight weeks now. If this place is starting to resemble Aleppo, it's because these are tactics Putin's troops learned in Syria. Besiege and destroy. Ukraine's Azov Battalion just released this video, we believe filmed two days ago, showing the civilians in the bunkers of the Azovstal factory. Children play on their phones. We can go on, they say, but we want to go home. We want to see the sun again. These women are asked how long they've been down here. Since the 5th of March is the reply. Just outside Mariupol, New satellite images appear to show a second mass grave being made during Russia's occupation. The Kremlin has denied trying to cover up the slaughter of civilians. But the casualties are increasing as phase two of this Russian invasion intensifies. Odessa was hit by seven missiles today and addressing the world's media, Ukraine's president could not hide his fury at this escalation. Same. Eight people have now died in this attack. 18 to 20 people are wounded. A three-month-old baby has died. They killed a three-month-old baby. This war started when this baby was one month old. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what is happening? They are just scum. Just scum. I don't have any other words to use in this context. President Zelensky also had a call with the UK Prime Minister today. Boris Johnson confirmed more military aid will be sent to push back on Putin's latest advance. Russia had already confirmed their intent to attack Odessa on their way to Moldova, where they would liberate the Russian speakers of Transnistria. This attack on the port city today would be step one of an invasion that goes beyond Ukraine's borders. Tomorrow it is Easter for Orthodox Christians. Putin says there will be no ceasefire. A holy day, scarred like so much in this war. Peter Smith, ITV News, Kyiv.